Hi, I'm Angie, and today I'm making 100% whole wheat bread in the bread maker. This is going to make a one and a half pound loaf, and you want to make sure that you follow your manual for your bread maker in terms of the quantities that it can handle and also what order to add the ingredients. I'm starting with one cup plus two tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of molasses, one tablespoon of honey. I'm using creamy honey, but you can use runny honey, liquid honey as well. Three and a half cups of whole wheat flour. One and a half tablespoons of dry milk powder. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And I'll just push those dry ingredients to the edge of the pan. I have two tablespoons of butter that I've cut into four pieces. I'll just put one in each corner. And one and a half teaspoons of fast rise yeast right down the middle. I'm going to use the whole wheat setting on this and you want to check the dough ball after about five minutes of kneading and make sure it's the right consistency and that it's picking up the flour on the edge of the pans. If it's too wet, you just add a little bit more flour and if it's too dry, then you could add just a little bit more water. So I'll pop this in the bread maker. I'm going to use the regular whole wheat setting, which takes about four hours and 20 minutes. So I'll let the bread maker do all the work and I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, it's been just over four hours and the loaf is done. Even though it's 100% whole wheat, I got a nice big loaf by using the regular whole wheat setting and not the rapid. You want to let the loaf cool about 15 minutes before you slice it. You can go to my blog at overthekitchencounter.com to get the written recipe for this bread. Thanks for watching and I hope you try 100% whole wheat bread in the bread maker.